Hey guys, welcome back. As you have may seen in the last video, I've made a table, countertops and finished the living area at the front of the camper. In this video, we are going to tackle the shower bathroom. Off camera, I already put up some vinyl, which my fiance picked out. In this video, we are going to make some kind of a sink assembly with some storage, put up a little cabinet over here. I have to glue in the shower pan and deal with the gray water tank. In a previous video we finished all the water lines, uh, fresh water tank and uh, water heater up to that point over there and I just ran all the lines for that sink tap assembly and also here to the kitchen. So all the water lines go right here and go to the sink and tap. The shower pan is made from polystyrene I guess and the manufacturer suggests to glue it completely onto the floor with some MS polymer so let me get set up and let's do that first and we go from there. Apologies for the coming bad camera angles because it's a very tight space and I have to work from here probably. Sorry if you can't see much but I do my best so let's go. shower pan is in. I forgot to mention that I sanded the underside of the tray and degreased it just to be sure. I leave this for a couple of days and also I sealed the floor with some lacquer I guess that's it and caulked all the edges beforehand and obviously after everything is done, I need to caulk all the corners, edges and everything. But if they fail, there is still a protection underneath that to keep the floor intact. Now that the shower pan is drying, I can do something else. I kept the old sink from the old camper, but I really don't like it. I found this mixing bowl in one of the home improvement stores. I cut a hole in it. And I made a template where the bowl sits something like this. I just have to take this template and transfer it over to the piece of plywood. Put on some lemonade and cover all the edges. And that will be the sink. And for the front, I will show you later what I have come up with. So, but let's first do this part from that piece of plywood over there.
So the sink is all glued in. I used again MS Polymer, but this time a different brand because I noticed that in some places the other MS Polymer has begun to yellow a little bit. So I changed it over to another brand. Hopefully this will stay white. And I also for the door bought this tambour, 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 tambour door kit. Tumbledore kit which I need to cut to size somewhere in here and I have some rails with it which I need to screw on the bottom side of the countertop or the sink top and also glue some bits to the bottom where this whole thing sits so let's do this and we go from there So the sink is in, I connected all the water lines and the drain, that's a P-trap or a siphon. I had to go this route with the water supply for the kitchen because it wouldn't make sense to go the other way around the long way because the hot water boiler heater is just on the other side of this wall. So I went this route and to properly drain it there are two drains and the safety valve for the water heater and everything that is on that side drains down that way and everything on this side drains to the other side just over here on the, the kitchen sink which i also connected the drain and the p-trap i also made this little stop which i need to still screw down just to stop the door from going off the rails. This hose is for the retractable shower line. You can pull out this part of the faucet and shower with it. It reaches all the way to the top, to the other corner or here. I don't know where we will put the shower head, but we will figure it out some way or another. Here you have a better view why I made the design decisions which I made. So this is the top plate and I glued on these parts just to give it more thickness for the screws to bite and also to give me room for these brackets. I have eight of them and I had to space out the door by the width of those brackets and that's why the back side and the front and the side over there is a little bit uh, wider so that the door clears those brackets that you can see in the middle of the screen none of the bottom rails are screwed down they are glued in place with some MS polymer to avoid any water penetration 
from the screw holes. Obviously there is still a gap over here which I can't avoid but in the worst case I can put something in here or under here some kind of shower curtain or something. I never tested the water system because nothing was hooked up so let's grab some water and fill up the tank and try it for the first time. That water heater is empty, it holds about 10 liters, so I have to wait to fill up that one first. And after that we should get some water over here, so let's try this, if the pump turns on. Okay, more there. Oh, and we have water and some of air. These are some fancy push connections. But everything seems dry. I haven't connected it up just yet. I put another 10 liters in it and I had to swap around the polarity on the pump because there weren't any instructions with it and I just guessed but now it's fine. I also put down some paper towels just to check if there are any leaks because I had to change that clamp over there and that up here so that's all dry now and there's still a little bit of air in it That's working. Let's check the sink over here. Very nice. I have to cork all the edges here in the bathroom. All of that. I will do that with some MS Polymer as well, just to be safe. I won't film all this because the space is tight and we all won't fit here and it's just fiddly stuff. So I bring you right back. The first part of the caulking is done. That little trim piece, all these corners and of course the shower pan. Now I just have to put in the door and the ceiling panel over here. This had about three days to cure, so that should be good. In the meantime, I shortened the old door from the camper and I painted the frame. I have to put on some trim and screw it in place. So let's do that. Sorry for the bad video quality in the last couple of clips. I just wanted to finish putting in the door and the ceiling panel yesterday before it got really dark and I wanted to finish caulking the whole thing so it has time to cure. But until that is dry, we can do something about the gray water. I went with the factory design. Maybe you can see because there is a bunch of stuff in the way. Here is the step that sticks in. There is the hitch. Here is the inlet for the, from the shower pan. And the sink and the kitchen sink are attached on each side. So I have a very limited space. And also this is far away from the back wheel. So any weight that is placed here and if you stand in the shower for example or anybody is cooking in the kitchen that adds extra weight to the back which is not really good supported. 
and it's also cheap because any tank I could fit here would be made to order and that would be three four hundred bucks if I damage this tank it's easily replaced you can get these pipes anywhere in Europe but the approach angle is also key that means if you are uh, traveling up a hill or going down a hill and you approach the bottom that line from the wheel up there to here anything that sticks below that point will contact first so the gray water tank could be easily damaged so let's just do this and I add a couple of 20 liter uh, gray water canisters to the truck so I can empty them into the can and put it in front of the wheel where the storage rack is there's not much room here but maybe you can see that's the drain holes of the shower pan and this is the connection to the gray water tank I just made a makeshift p-trap by bending that hose if that doesn't work I still can shorten that hose and just connect it straight here is the view of the inside maybe you can see the light at the other end that's the connection for the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink is up there which comes down to this hose I have this plug here I drilled in some holes for the faucet spigot kind of thing this is where the sink from the bathroom connects to and this is just some vent hole just a piece of tubing pushed through and if the level becomes that high it just dribbles out and I can empty it hopefully by now the MS polymer coking in the bathroom has set up and I can mount the wall cabinet and the mirror I'm not sure about this white and the color of the spigot I might have to paint it later on but for now this will do the MS polymer has dried enough so I hung the cabinet that I salvaged from the other camper I painted the outside and clear coated everything in the inside I also connected the light switch and the 220 outlet the mirror is also on it's a pretty tight space but the door works too I just have to remove the protective film from the shower pan and this part of the camper is done There is probably one more video to come in this series where I finish the cabinet doors and little things here and there but I also need to finish one of the trucks just to be safe on the road on the first travel so that video might be taking a few weeks or a month to complete so thank you very much for your patience and I always appreciate your kind words and comments thank you so much for following along my dream project it's been taking a while but like everything in life I was planning to do this in three months or so but as it happens it's been almost two years so thank you very much for your patience and see you soon bye